Right in shares got to have to hear this afternoon. Jenny Horn with the bankruptcy story potential. Potentially, yes, but it does seem like they're going to have to do something here because this is a company that's signaled it's facing some pretty serious litigations regarding overprescribing the sale of opioids, which we know from looking at other failed pharmacies wow. that this is something that tends to then continue to stick and weigh on, obviously, your performance. The shares are down 50% into the close here. Now, they said this Chapter 11 filing would cover more than $3.3 billion worth of their debt load and pending legal allegations that they did oversupply some of these prescription painkillers. Now, they haven't agreed on a settlement with federal, state, or these private opioid plaintiffs to resolve some of the liabilities they are facing in this Chapter 11 filing. They are planning at this point, according to the report, to treat them as general unsecured claims. But we do know they're facing now thousands of federal lawsuits that are being consolidated into a multi-district litigation in Ohio, as well as they're facing a significant number of similar cases in state courts that allege that they were also contributing to this opioid pandemic. Just from looking at names like Purdue Pharma, again, this is not a headline you want to be affiliated with at all. They also are seeing this bankruptcy filing as a way to then put them back on a path to sort of shore up some of their debt load, shore up their overall balance sheet, but we're still obviously waiting and seeing how this shapes up here. Now, we do know this is a company that even outside of these headlines that we've gotten over the past several days, that from 2015 to 2018, they tried to unsuccessfully merge with Walgreens Boots Alliance. They've also seen efforts to now improve their capital position that have somewhat failed. The company's cash has also dwindled as of late. So we did see their revenue decline around 6% in the past quarter. And we also did see their net losses nearly triple in the most recently reported quarter. So they have issues even outside of this. But again, anytime I see the words opioid epidemic and names like Purdue Pharma as well as a few others, I, you, as a company, you want to steer so, so, so far away from that. Yeah. And so I guess that's why CVS isn't having some move in sympathy. This is not like a retail mm -hmm. statement. This is very specifically tied to the um, opioid lawsuits. Mm -hmm. In fact, CVS is actually up a little bit today. Uh, possibly related, maybe not. But actually, that's not our only developing story. We've got something a little bit more um, positive, I suppose. I'm not sure. Hostess? I'm not sure if it's more positive either because I was just reading. Everything's that, better than opioids. But it, it is. It is. This is definitely a food that makes everyone happy. But Hostess has <laughs> also filed for bankruptcy twice just in the last two decades. So they also have their own share of balance sheet reworking they need to undergo here. Now, we did see shares surge today. Yeah, so at least we we're seeing so yeah, some positive price activity, 21% into the close. They were actually up as much as 30% to an intraday high, just around $29. That puts them on pace for their best day I mean, by almost double. Double. Their best day prior to this was a 15% gain back in March of 2018. So 21% were still pacing to close out a really nice session here after we did get reports that this company was considering a potential sale to interested parties. Some of these interested parties, according to Reuters, are General Mills, Mondelez, PepsiCo, and Hershey that are interested in Hostess, which they did hire now Morgan Stanley as an advisor. So the Reuters did say there are sources close to the matter. They would not disclose more. This is, again, another company that has seen some weaker sales. This is a, an, also a company that was established back in 1930. So they have weathered a lot of storms but have seen some weakness into this today's nice move higher. They were actually down a percent on the year. So now we're up 20 percent, obviously making a monster move, but still another wait and see story because they, they are you know, obviously exploring a potential sale because they need to be sold. I mean, they're, they're seeing debt levels increase and they're not seeing growth that it's enabled been able to excite investors at all, frankly. All right. Interesting. Uh, big move. At least one of the upsides. We're kind of breaking even here, right? It down big. Hostess maybe looking for a sale. All right. Uh, everyone loves a Twinkie. Thanks, Jenny Horn. Mm -hmm.